the first thing that's going to flex is going to be the girth, how thick that's going to be. That's determined really early in the life of that corn plant, probably V3, V4, V5, right in there. As far as length, that can go almost all the way up until tassel practically. And as far as depth and test weight, that's right down to the end. I mean, right down to the end where some of those things get determined. And the keys are moisture and available fertility. So if you're thinking, all right, I really want to flex for girth. I've got a hybrid here that can be 20 kernels around, 22 kernels around. I'd rather have that than 16 or maybe 18. How can I do that? Start off with some fertility with the planter. Band some fertility near the row whether it's in a two by two, or maybe you're doing a strip till and you're putting it all through the top six inches of that strip. Have available fertility so your corn plant, when the root system is still fairly small, like Brian was saying, V345, somewhere in that range, have it close so the plant can find it. Now, what about later on flexing for length and test weight and kernel depth and all those things? You've gotta have some moisture. So if you're irrigating, keep irrigating. If your dry land, well, you just gotta kinda hope that we've got rain, but our other offset for that is just having a higher concentration of fertility in our soil. So even if we don't get a lot of rain, our roots are still likely to find enough fertility.